so in this video i'm going to discuss about the transport of oxygen by the hemoglobin first of all as you guys all know hemoglobin is a respiratory pigment and as you guys all know we have discussed all the main points related to hemoglobin if you haven't watched that video kindly watch that video that will be more um privilege uh for you guys all right so if we talk about the transport of oxygen by hemoglobin hemoglobin is as you guys all know present in rbc and if we talk about the hemoglobin so if it is transported by oxygen which means the oxygen plus hemoglobin if we say so that is the oxy hemoglobin if oxygen bind with the hemoglobin so that means oxy hemoglobin oxy hemoglobin 95% oxygen bind with the hemoglobin all right and 1 to 3% the oxygen can bind with the plasma like the, uh, on the basis of the diffusion all right so if you have the oxy hemoglobin that is unstable this unstable which means it can break easily it is breakable so it basically detach from the oxygen and attach with tissues where the carbon dioxide is more for example carbon dioxide is more in tissues all right so it will do what it will detach by the oxygen detach de with oxygen it will detach with oxygen and it will move into the tissues where the carbon dioxide is more all right so carbon dioxide is more which means we are having the less level of the oxygen less concentration so the hemoglobin will be moved toward the tissues all right when tissues have less oxygen level so the oxy hemo it will remove uh, or it will uh, move from blood to the tissues all right if you talk about the hemoglobin him 1 gram 1 gram of hemoglobin contain how much oxygen that is 1.37 ml of oxygen this is the main mcq if we talk about the uh, that is which means the uh, um, 100 per ml of blood all right so we measure the hemoglobin by per 100 ml of the blood if we talk about the normal range in the female and male of the hemoglobin in female there is a normal range it is 12 to 14 range of the hemoglobin 14 uh, gram all right and 14 male male 14 to 16 this means that um from female the male is having the more we can say a uh, gram of we can see the normal gram of uh, hb all right so there are many questions that basically uh, come so 1 gram of hb contain 1 1 gram of hb contain 1.37 oxygen so for example if i am having a question that if a person have 12 gram of hb all right in 100 ml of blood so it will carry how much o2 so simply what we will do we will multiply the 1 gram uh, 1 gram of hemoglobin attached with 1.37 oxygen so what we will do here we are having the 12 gram so the 1 gram concentration will multiply with the 12 and the answer will there uh, in the concentration of o2 will be there with you for example if uh, a person is having 15 gram of hb in 100 ml of blood so what will be the concentration of the uh, o2 what will how much ml of uh, o2 will be there so we will do what we will be multiply the 1 gram of hb uh, containing oxygen we will be multiply this by the 15 and the answer will be there in front of you all right so if we talk about the factors that increase the affinity of the hb what does it mean it means for example if the oxygen level is increased in the alveoli all right so 
what will do that uh, the oxygen will uh, move to the blood oxygen will move to the blood and that would bind with the hp all right so just because of this the hp can be bind with the oxygen second we have in if there is a less concentration of o2 in blood if there is more oxygen level in the ox in the alveoli so which means that there will be the less concentration of the oxygen in the blood so that's why the oxygen will move toward the to the blood to attack with the hemoglobin second condition we are having the concentration of um, carbon dioxide is less in blood or tissues blood or tissues so which means if there is a uh, less carbon dioxide in blood or tissues which means that it will increase the affinity if there is less concentration of the carbon dioxide in blood or tissues all right which means that it it will increase the affinity to bind the oxygen with hp if there will the like uh, concentration of the carbon dioxide will be less in the blood or tissues so what will be occur it the oxygen will bind with what the oxygen will bind with the uh, hemoglobin because there is a con more concentration uh, there is a less concentration of the carbon dioxide all right as well as if we talk about the factors that are, that increase the affinity of hp which means uh, the hp to bind with the oxygen that will be the uh, ph can be there temperature can be there there are many factors so this was about the transport of oxygen by the hemoglobin